So we're now back at the lab and we're going to try to do the transformation. So we placed your cells in minus 80 and so we're now going to go collect them and do the transformation with the RFP construct and see if it works. This is uh, the Spring 2011 DNA distribution plate and the plasmid, the RFP construct we're going to use is on 6.0. I'm going to take one microliter of this and put one microliter in each of these tubes. Now we're going to leave it in the night for 30 minutes and then allow it to settle and then we're going to do the heat shock. Um, now we're going to do the heat shock. Um, we're going to put them in a, a hot water bath for one minute um, and then we're going to put them back on us. So uh, welcome back, so it's the next day and we're now going to check if you got any colonies or if your cells are competent. Uh, so we're going to go inside and take a look at the plates. This is done using a, a particular um, plasmid called PUC-19 and that allows you to calculate the transformation efficiency. But we've just used the red fluorescent protein and you can already see that there are lots of colonies on this and from some of them that has a really a lot, you can actually see the, the, the red uh, that is um, showing up, which is the, the expressed protein. To do this we need to wear these glasses and the reason why is because when we turn on this blue light and put these glasses in front of it you can see the blue light disappears. I'm going to try to make it a bit darker as well. Now 
when I start putting on these plates. You should see some fluorescence. And the ones that have grown quite a bit and done quite well for themselves, all of them are sort of red fluorescent, but some are in a sort of a much more advanced stage of production. So if we leave these plates out for uh, longer, you should see a brighter and brighter light happening. So what I could do now is I could pick one of these colonies and I could uh, grow it overnight or streak it out on a plate and just leave it for a while and you can see a, a really bright red color.